Welcome to the School of Silence. This is where the noisiest children in the country are sent for some intensive silent training. And today, four new pupils have got to prove they've got what it takes to stay completely silent. This noisy bunch are from Leeds and are having their noise levels assessed by the headmistress and the form tutor. Come to the front! Come closer! Right, you, name... Nicola says she's silly all the time, and she's always chuckling and giggling. Uh-oh. Next! Armani! Armani is well known in his class because he gives them all earache from shouting so loudly. Ouch. Next! Rudy! Rudy's favourite thing in the world is shouting and screaming loudly, and he's renowned for his uncontrollable belly laughter. Yeah, better watch this one. Next! Molly's older brothers are fed up with her screaming and shouting, so she makes number four in this very rowdy team from Leeds. The teachers here at the School of Silence are going to have their work cut out. That's enough! Get out! Shh! Here's how the day works. The new pupils have three challenging classes to learn how to be silent, followed by the crucial final exam, which will determine whether they graduate or will be expelled. If they are too noisy... No! <laughs> I will know about it, thanks to this device, the Gobstop 2000, the latest in noise monitoring technology. If they pass, they will graduate and receive the ultimate reward the golden gobstopper. If they fail to keep that shut, then I will have no choice but to expel them. Shh. Now, before we begin, I must ensure the school has been hushed down. Seven seconds to hush down. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. It's time for their silent training to start with their first class with Mr. Gross. Shh. Oh, good grief. Come in! Sit down quickly, please! Pinch your seats! Quicker, quicker! Shh. I am Mr. Gross, your teacher for general studies. OK, silence, please. Hush, <laughs> away. You'll come to grief. <laughs> You'll be for the high jump. This is the first lesson in your silent training which must be done in absolute silence. This jar of gobstoppers will determine which child is doing each lesson. And remember, Miss Gobstop is always listening on those microphones. Yes, those microphones there, there and there. And up here you will see the monitor for her Gobstop 2000. The Gobstop 2000? will go off every time you make too much noise. So let's get on with your training. Shh. What's up first? It's called Maggot Hold. Now, I don't think this needs a lot of describing, frankly. You're going to hold some maggots. Yes. And you're going to have to do it in silence for 30 seconds. Let's find out who's going to be the unlucky one. Armani, would you like to pick, young man? Yes! Well, what a shame. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I had a feeling you would like that, Rudy. Shh. I shall fetch my favourite friends in the whole world. William, Tony, Geoffrey, <laughs> Margaret. Take those, hold them gently. Remember, it is very important that you stay silent throughout this entire task. <laughs> Armani. You will pour the maggots when I tell you. As soon as they're in your hand, I will give the signal and your time will start. 30 seconds. I doubt you'll manage two. <laughs> Are you ready? No. Hold your hands tightly together. <laughs> pour the maggots. <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> your time starts <laughs> now. Well, this is a tough start to their silent training and Rudy has a reputation for his laugh. And there it is. No. Oh, that's just too loud. Oh, 
It's not looking good at all. Oh, nearly there. He'll have to wash his hands after this. Hands up! Put them down! I give up! I really do! A noisy start, but what's next? Gunge boot! You will have 30 seconds to put your chosen teammate into a pair of Gunji Wellington boots. <gasps> then they must parade around in front of you all. And this must be done in absolute <laughs> silence. Let's find out who's going to be doing it. Nicola, which colour will it be? Have a little pick. White, Molly. Molly. You're going to get the guns boot, dear. How do you feel about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good grief. He's off. Shh. One pair of Wellington boots. Two jugs of lovely gunk. What you'll be doing is pouring the gunk into the Wellington boots. You, Molly, will put them on and by all means have a little jump up and down, skipping rope, whatever you silly little children do in the playground, do it in the boots. Are you ready? Your 30 seconds starts now. Bit of noise there. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of noise from Rudy. <laughs> and from Molly. Go! Talking from Rudy. <laughs> and loud laughing now. Lots of noise here. <coughs> They're going to need a lot of silent training. <laughs> Tie up! <laughs> Sit down, Molly. <laughs> How does that feel, Molly? Disgusting. Disgusting. Yeah. Oh dear. What's next? Ice slush mush. <laughs> Molly, you will be pouring a jug of slush down the back of your chosen teammate. Have a dig around in there. Blue. <laughs> oh, Marnie. You've been sitting there quite quietly, haven't you? Very good. Let's see if you can keep quiet under pressure. And remember, this must be done in absolute silence. If Miss Gobstopper's Gobstop 2000 goes off, then you've made too much noise. And that goes to everyone. Shh. Right! <coughs> Let's get the lovely slush. Mm. Lovely, slushy, mushy. Oh. It's freezing. You're going to enjoy this. You have 30 seconds to pour it all down. Your time starts now. <laughs> Some laughing there. Oh, it's Rudy again. Oh, keep it in, Nicola. <laughs> Lots of noise, but Armand is staying silent. Despite all the noise around him, Armand is still doing really, really well. He's really making most of the noise again. Just a few seconds. Stop! Stop, please! Mercy, I beg of you, give me that! Go and sit down, Molly. This does not bode well for your final exam. It really doesn't. This alarm went off several times. The Gobstopper 2000 has never heard such noise. Right. Stand up, get back to your seat, Armani class. There's no more time. Good. And I have to say, thank goodness for that, because you are without doubt the worst children I've had since the last lot of children. <laughs> get out of my classroom! <laughs> Rudy! Rudy! Why is he at my school? Why, Rudy? Dreadful boy. Oh. Sponsored by Rudy. What's going on? Are you finding it quite hilarious? Yeah. <laughs> Do you think that by the end of it, Rudy will be silent? No. And Nicola, of course, you filled Molly's boots up with gunge. Yeah. You enjoyed that? Yeah. Was it easy to stay silent while you were doing it? No. <laughs> Your next test is in the canteen. We're going to go and meet Nora and Brittany. Brittany's cool. You'll love her. Are you ready for this? Yeah. yeah. All right, then. Attention. Attention. 
This is the School of Silence. The new school hymn is Silent Night. Please practice it quietly. So, after a noisy start to the day, I think this lot needs some more silent training. Shh! Cooey! It's lunchtime! <laughs> well, hello. My name is Mrs. Nora Nugget. Welcome to my kitchen. And this is my lovely assistant, Brittany Biscuit. As part of your silent training, you've been sent here today, and we are going to feed you some of our fancy foods from the menu. You do know, don't you, that Miss Gobstock can hear every sound you make. That includes your rather infectious laugh, young man. <laughs> all right? And I'd like to see you all graduate at the end of the day. Will they be able to stay silent for this one? So, the first item on our menu today is the silent trump. You will have 30 seconds in which to eat a plate full of baked beans and deflate a number of whoopee cushions without making a single sound. Who's going to pick? Rudy. Right. Here we go. Could you bring the coloured gobstoppers in there, Brittany? Lovely, Rudy. Don't peek. Oh! Oh, you've picked yourself! Oh, that's wonderful. Shh. Right. There we go. There's your lunch, dear. Your spoon. So I want to see this plate cleaned. All right, then. Are you ready? Your 30 seconds of silence start now. <laughs> oh, Molly laughing there. <laughs> More laughing and giggling. <laughs> Amani trying to control them. <laughs> well, they're settling down a little. Even Rudy's holding in the giggles. Well, that's it. Time's up. <laughs> and um, you've managed to deflate all the cushions, but um, not very silently. Shh. Still room for improvement. What's next? Human. Pizza. Now, you will have 30 seconds to build a pizza on your chosen teammate's head. Armani, do you want to pick this one? Who's it going to be? <whistles> oh, 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 Molly, are you looking forward to a new hairdo? No. No? <laughs> now, most of our pizza toppings today are fish based. We've got tuna and anchovies, <laughs> olives. <laughs> now, come on. Do you like fish? Yes, but not anchovies. Rather delicate aroma there, isn't it? it? Could be a new perfume as well as a new hairdo. Your 30 seconds of absolute silence, Rudy, starts now. Oh, God. Oh! Oh! Oh, God. Oh, God. oh a lot of noise there. Go on, Go on! Revenge! Oh, yes! <laughs> and lots of talking, oh, too. Nicola trying to hush them. You know them. you want to, Well. Oh. <laughs> this lot just can't be quiet. Aye, aye, aye. <laughs> Three seconds left. <laughs> and more noise. We were out of time there, Armani. Well done. Oh, don't you look a picture. Are you hungry? <laughs> now, I must tell you, I'm really concerned about you lot. You've been making an awful lot of noise, haven't you, Nicola? I hope you do better for Miss Bunsen in the science class this afternoon. And cut down the noise, dears. <laughs> Off you go. All right. Quick game party. I admire Armani's dedication to silence. Such a shame that the others don't feel the same. Why are you waiting on me? OK, so you've had the silent trump and the human pizza. How did silent trump go, Nicola? Um, not very well, cos Rudy, he was trying so hard not to laugh and his face just made us all laugh. Rudy, how was it for you, that test? Terrible. Um, uh, Amani, do you have anything to say to Molly about the human pizza? It was very sweet and I'm not going to say sorry. <laughs> so do you think you can stay a little bit quieter? Maybe. Are you going to try? Yeah. Rudy, yeah. are you going to try? Yeah. OK, Miss Bonson awaits you in the science lab. Good luck. Attention. Attention. This is the school of silence. Could everyone try not to breathe all at the same time? Wait your turn. I can barely hear myself think. Time for their last class of the day before their final exam. It's silent science training with Miss Bunsen. Oh! Oh, here they are. Come in! Come in. Oh, hello, Rudy. Come in. Come in, Armani. Hello, Nicola, Molly. Come on. Come on. Now! 
My name is Miss Munson and I am your science teacher. Now, I must impress upon you the importance of silence in science. Now, we're going to be conducting two experiments today, all in complete silence. Your final bit of training before your final exam. Shh! What's Miss Bunsen got in store for them? The first game is called Levitation. Now, one of you has to sit on a balloon while the other person pumps up the balloon, thus thrusting someone into the air. Rudy, you can pick first. Who's it going to be? Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Is it you, Molly? Unfortunately. Molly again. Unlucky. <laughs> now then, remember, absolute silence. Your 30 seconds starts. Now! Bobby. A little squeal there. <laughs> and a little giggle. But otherwise much quieter. <laughs> though, boys and girls, heard a lot of giggling during that. Now, I hope that you can keep a bit more quiet. Shh, shh, shh. Very good. Shh. Time for one more and then the final exam. You are going to be my guinea pigs because I have invented something new, something radical. I have found a niche in the market, boys and girls. <laughs> it's called the human car wash. <laughs> now, uh... Nicola, you're going to be picking this one. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> oh, no! It's Molly again! Molly! Oh, dear, Lord. You seem to be jinxed. <laughs> now, you must be quick doing this. You only have 30 seconds. And remember, it has to be done in complete silence. <laughs> A human cat one. What was that giggling? Remember, you're being monitored <laughs> by Miss Gobstop constantly. Right, this is your last chance for the final exam. <laughs> Let's see if you can do it. Already. 30 seconds. <laughs> now, starting from now. Go, go, go! Oops, some noise there. <laughs> oh no, Rudy shouting again. <laughs> oh, careful, Nicola. There's careful, some talking. Nicola. Oh, yes, Nicola, you go, Nicola. <laughs> yeah, go. Still so much noise from Rudy. Oh, there's the wax. But everyone else oh, is still oh, silent. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Nearly time. Oh, oh. Time, that's it, that's it, that's it. Oh, look at the mess. Molly, Molly, come over here. Oh, dear, well, that hasn't worked at all. <laughs> I have to go back to the drawing it's board. Yeah, it's so... Rudy, honestly. You're so noisy, Colonel Kittens just will not put up with that behaviour. And Armani, oh, I heard you giggling as well. Yeah. You can leave the class. Off you go. Good luck. Hey! Yay! I can't take any more of Rudy. <sighs> right then, science class. Miss Bunsen, how did it go with Molly? Funny. <laughs> Did you manage to stay silent there? Not really. But you are, you are trying hard, though, aren't you, to stay silent? It's not easy. It's not an easy thing to do, but you're doing pretty well. But, of course, uh, if we come to the, the end of the table, you're not finding it too easy at all, are you, to stay quiet? No. <laughs> 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 and there we can hear it building. It gets bigger, doesn't it? So, to win it, you've got to go through to the final exam with Colonel Kittens. You've got to be silent. He's strict. Can you do it? Yes, yes we, we can! <laughs> <laughs> Attention! Attention! This is the School of Silence. Would all pupils attending this evening's bell ringing class please leave their bells at reception? They've had their three classes and now it's time for their final exam. Colonel Kittens will really put them to the test. To graduate and win the golden gobstopper, they must keep that shut. If they set off the gobstop 2003 times, they will be expelled! Well, their silent training's all been building up to this, their final exam, with Colonel Kittens. Right, 
You disgusting little creatures. I'm Colonel Kittens, and it is my job to make you crack. And believe you me, you most likely will. This is your final exam. It is very simple, just like you. Rudy, do you think you'll be able to do it? To keep your little mouth shut? Yes, sir. Yes, sir? Good grief, boy. We have trained you well. I heard you've been laughing all day. These are the instruments of your demise. Various items and appendages, some stuff, and some more stuff. Right, I shall be throwing all of it at you. Believe you me, I will spare you nothing. Are you ready to suffer in silence? Yes, Colonel. That'll do. <laughs> so, your time starts now. The Colonel's gone straight for the feather duster and straight to the face. Everyone's staying pretty quiet though. Oh no, Rudy. Will he? Will he? <laughs> yes, he did. That's a loud giggle. Surely that has set off the Gobstop 2000. Here we go with the gunk ladle. Look at the concentration. Such control. Well done. Not a sound. You can see Rudy trying to hold in the giggles. Oh no, the Colonel's gone for it. Surely. No, he stayed silent. Well done. A bit more gunge here. Very quiet giggles, but they can still be heard. A gasp from Molly. Oh, confetti. <laughs> yeah, that set them off. <coughs> Some more laughing from Rudy here. And he's talking now. Surely that has set off the Gobstop 2000. Oh no, just when you thought it couldn't get any worse, the gun's chicken gets pulled out. Yeah, lots of giggling there. Not looking good for the team so far. The Colonel gives Rudy the chicken. He shakes it in frustration. He wants to be able to giggle. And he throws it away. Lots of giggles there. Just a few seconds left. Oh no, the snow. Right, time's up. You did very well, I think, considering, considering what you've got. Is your head normally blue, boy? <laughs> How do you think you all did, Molly? Sorry? Good. Good, you can speak now, it's over. Good. Good! Oh, I think I heard you sniggering. What about you, Armani? I think I did pretty well. I, don't know, I think you might have done. I like the glittery look on the side of your head. You should probably take that home with you. And you, dear, look at that, smashing. You look ridiculous, lad. So do you. <laughs> how would you know? You can't see. I can't see. Well, I wonder how you did do. Shall we find out? Yeah, yeah. Get out of my gym! You still here, girl? Yeah. So, that was the final exam with Colonel Kittens. How did it go? Terrible. Really? It was hard when he poured the paint on us without making any noise. I know. Do you not think you were noisy? You were. You were, man. Well, do, you th do you think you were noisy three times? No. Because you were quiet to start off with, weren't you? I yeah, but you might get away with the sniggle. You might be okay. If you graduate, you win the Golden Gobstopper, yeah? Yeah. So you want to graduate. You excited about that? Yeah. OK, well, you're about to find out. Miss Gobstop's waiting for you. Clock. Shh! So, how did they do in their final exam? Enter! Quickly. Awful smell. You were sent here because you're all terribly noisy. <laughs> and I've put you through rigorous training today. Well, let's look at your reports. Nicola. Terrible giggler. <laughs> <laughs> Did show some self-control, but mostly rubbish. Amani, quite promising. Little silliness in Mr. Gross's class. <laughs> but overall, you're a cool operator.
Molly. Very unlucky girl. How many tests have you done? Shh! <laughs> 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 Not much. Not much. Rudy, your training has been a nightmare. <laughs> Stand up straight. You nearly broke the God Stop 2000. <laughs> and that laugh is like a hysterical hyena. Nothing to be proud of, Rudy. <laughs> Your final exam, you all started well. Quite promising. <laughs> so, did you pass? No. And graduate? No. Yes. Yes. I can now reveal you will be expelled. <laughs> You set off the gobstop 2003 times. Shh. Let's see those three strikes. <laughs> That's Rudy. <laughs> Another one from Rudy. <laughs> you. And Rudy again. Shh. Now, I won't be giving you the golden gobstopper. You receive this. Take it. Take it. Take it. <laughs> now get out. Out! Get out! You're far too noisy for my school. <laughs> Quickly! Chop, chop! Tip toes! <laughs> and you, you're the worst. Get out, Barney. Shut the door behind you. Badly! That's almost it for CBBC on BBC One, but switch over right now to the CBBC channel for Tracy Beaker, and new Planet Ad J will be on at 5.15. Sean the Sheep, weekdays at 4.20, CBBC on BBC One.